So as far as materials go, the material that I got is free of money costs. Labor-wise, not free. Every one of these nails I have to go through and pull out so that I am ready to use some of these boards. And they have nails across the ear, and nails across here, and nails across there. There's a nice heavy 4x4 underneath that. I want to salvage those too. I got some pallets there with good wood on it. I want to salvage those. The sides, I want to salvage all that stuff too. So, needless to say, pallet wood is free to pick up, but very, very labor intensive. So, it's fun to work on, but it's definitely a challenge. So, I went ahead without you again. Sorry. Uh, it's a piece of 3 8 ply. I cut uh, openings using the hole saw in the corner, the jigsaw to go around, and then I ran a roundover bit to smooth over the edge. Um, so there's the rough setup. I still have to screw it in place. It's just slid in there right now. So I'll line it up, get it even, and I'll screw it into these. Then I'm going to put a... Sorry. I'm trying to... Okay. Wow. That's going to make everybody dizzy. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to put a divider in right through here. Wall on that side wall on this side and then I still have to cap off the ends wrap everything with hardware cloth but it's just uh, as far as I'm gonna go tonight I'm not gonna cut the sides um, and I'm not gonna do any hardware cloth or anything like that so I'll move those boards tomorrow and I'll try and shoot some more footage tomorrow for you guys sorry about the crazy camera camera work crazy camera work. Talk to you later. Okay, so change of plans. Um, originally, I was going to put a divider right here um, and have the two boxes. Um, I have two does. Uh, one is mine and the other one is my daughter's. Um, and we have one buck, which is my other daughter's. Um, so what we're going to end up doing is the original cage I built we are going to hose out, clean up, and put the buck in. The does will go in this cage. Um, initially, there's going to be no divider in place because I'm going to try and they'll each have their own box. Box there, box here. Um, so they'll have a space to get away from each other. And they'll each have their own food. And they'll each have their own water. So um, I'm hoping to avoid major amounts of conflict and to save some time by not building a divider. Um, if it turns out we need the divider, then I can, you know, bring it in through the end here and then screw it in place. But as of now, I'm hoping to do it without a divider. So that's the change of plans. Um, I'm going to put you guys on time lapse and I'm going to do some work. So, enjoy. So I made a mistake, I had to put a filler strip in, um, didn't account that the boards were not, everything was not perfectly square, so filler strip, 
I'm going to put another fill strip there to fill on that side, and then I'll start working on the divider for the two hutches. Okay, so I'm working on the divider right now. Basically, it's going to be a piece of plywood with uh, some one inch and a half by inch and a half uh, supports. It's uh, 23 inches tall, 18 inches wide. The supports will be 16 inches, and they'll be one by or one and a half by one and a half. So what I'm hoping to do is place them like so and then I gotta see yeah I'm gonna nail them from the back side so this one stays on and then I will try my best to figure out how to nail up the next ones so here's here's the idea so I'm gonna line them up And this should be one inch by one inch overhang. So I'm gonna get the tape measure and make sure I get my one inch overhang roughly. Okay. So I'm going to make you shake a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to redo the one inch at this end. So pretty much everything on this has been from either pallets or recycled shipping crates. And the only thing I've bought are the screws and the nails. I did buy a couple of 2x4s to do the supports in the one section because I didn't have enough of those. But everything else has been salvaged. So this is my idea. Let's see if it works. I think I may do is do two short nails here on either side and then one of the salvage nails from the other which should get me quite a bit further in so as long as it doesn't bend over <laughs> hard to say when you're reusing nails oh I hit my other nail from the other side Dog Oh, gone it. Oh, I hate when I do that. Should have thought about that. Okay. So I'll use two of them and I'll move them. There's one. Bending that one. Let's 
There we go. So I got that. So we got two more of the other bent ones. So we'll see if that actually works or not. Phone's jumping. Okay, uh, I'm sorry about all the banging and bouncing and all that. There's the divider. And now I'm going to put it in place. Okay, divider's in place. Um, next step is I think I'm going to wrap everything else in wire and then I'll get a couple of doors made after the fact for the front and I need to make the sliding doors out of that for the back um, but I'll get that all done up and hopefully everything will work. So, on to the next step. Okay, here's one side done. I've capped off the screen under here. I've got it done here. You can see all the excess on the ground there. Uh, I am going to tack it over on the top here and put uh, a roofing material on when I get to that point. Uh, right now I'm gonna rotate the, the whole thing up. So it's standing on the end, and I'm going to wrap this end, or at least I'm going to try to. So, on to the next spot. Okay, so I've got the screen on, hardware cloth, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put a cover here. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put a cover here and a cover on the bottom side down here like I did there. Um, I still have to make the doors for this end, which I'll take measurements and figure out the door widths and go from there. And I still have to make the door to cover the two boxes here. I'm going to go through and cut off the excess wire right now, or hardware cloth. 
and I'll be back in a while. Okay, I decided to make the sides look pretty. Uh, the gap right here is so I have room to run the leg and the support for the leg. Hopefully I can figure that out over on this side too. <laughs> so same thing on this side. Made it look pretty like the other side. Top is not done. This will be the roof and it will have a wire wrapped over top so that nothing can come in and then I'm going to put a roofing material in place. Uh, most likely it's going to be 100 year old uh, steel tin roof um, that I got from a salvage. So it's the same thing I have on the other bunny cage. So I think this is where I'm going to stop for the night. <laughs>